am Marina Kukel, I am from the University of Pennsylvania and I am the lead PI of this study that was funded partially by the Orphan Product Development um, Office at the FDA and by Egerian Pharmaceutical. Um, and it's to try to find, to develop a drug that is called lomitapide, it's an MTP inhibitor uh, for a very rare disease that is homozygous familiar hypercholesterolemia. The incidence is a calculated to be one in a million, so about 300 patients in the United States. So these uh, patients have very, very, very high cholesterol, exceeding the 500 milligram per deciliter, sometimes almost reaching 1,000 milligram per deciliter, and uh, the big problem is that they develop cardiovascular disease, heart disease, very early in life, in childhood or adolescence. Um, usually there is the statins that are known to be very effective on treating cholesterol are not very effective in treating this disease because this disease lack the uh, receptor through which the statins work. Um, so these patients are usually requested to go through a procedure that is called LDL or plasma apheresis and is a sort of dialysis for cholesterol. So every week, every two weeks, every month, this patient, if available and where available, undergo this procedure to have their blood purged uh, through, uh, by the, uh, to, uh, of the cholesterol. Um, we studied uh, this drug, lomitapide, that inhibits uh, a protein that is called MTP that act in the liver and the intestine to pack the lipoprotein and for circulation. Um, we uh, study everyone in, uh, um, in, uh, that are, are taking the regular medication and we test this drug lomitapide in top of, on top of every other medication. Um, the patient were recruited and were asked to be uh, stable in their treatment and then we test the drug escalating every month uh, the dose of the drug up to a goal of 60 milligram, but titrating based on the safety and tolerability. We screened 32 patients, 29 were enrolled um, in the study, and 23 completed both the efficacy phase, that is the phase that said, um, you know, how well the drug uh, uh, work, and also the fa safety phase to see uh, what are their adverse events and their problems. And it was done in four different countries here in the United States, South Africa, in Italy, and Canada. And um, without going on the details, these were patients that were relatively young, uh, only adult. We were now enrolling children at this stage, but we are planning to do that. Uh, and the age was between 18 and 55. Um, they, when uh, they were taking the medication, starting from 100% of their cholesterol at baseline, at the end of the efficacy phase, the decrease was approximately 50%. So you were, if you were starting to about 500, in mean, at the average, uh, at weeks 26 was about 250. Um, and then we followed this patient a long time, up to 78 weeks, to establish um, uh, their safety. Not only the LDL, the bad cholesterol, was decreased 50%, but also other cholesterol indicators like total cholesterol or APOB were decreases. Um, the uh, major adverse event are gastrointestinal adverse event like diarrhea and nausea. And you know, I mentioned before, this enzyme, uh, this protein work on the intestine. So if you inhibit the yes. protein, you may have diarrhea as adverse event. Um, and many patients, most the majority of the patients experience some adverse event, but then they learn to uh, eat less fat in the diet and learn to um, tolerate the drugs. So uh, it was much, uh, the uh, number of adverse events during the study was, was uh, less, um, um, less um, frequent. And we also look what this drug did on the liver um, these are liver function tests, that they are ALT and AST are the usual tests yeah, that we do to good. see how the liver um, yeah, works, right. and there was no major concern. We also look how much fat is accumulated in the uh, intestine, uh, in the, sorry, the liver, 
and we knew that this drug caused a little bit of uh, liver fat accumulation in the liver, but the important for us was that once it reached a maximum of approximately 8%, it stabilized and didn't go um, further up. So we concluded that this drug, it's very effective and it's re reasonably tolerable and safe for this patient, and we are hoping that soon will be available for the patient with homozygous familiar habits.